Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys the top 10 tweaks I have chosen for your newly jailbroken iPhone 5. Now this will also work on the iPhone 4S, 4 and 3GS, and the iPods as well, just not the iPads. And this will work on any iOS 6 firmware, just as long as it's freshly jailbroken with Evasion. So starting off, here's Barrel. This one has been around for a while, however in this video I just wanted to show you guys that it still does work on iOS 6, and of course you get those really nice transitions. You can of course modify how they look. There's so many different styles and I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on random to show you guys how this works and as you guys can see you get a different animation every single time it works very smoothly not once has it put my iPhone into safe mode so I can say this does work great on iOS 6 even though it hasn't been officially updated here's Infinidoc it has been updated to work with the iPhone 5 and iOS 6 basically it allows you to put up to 10 icons down below into the lower dock and it works very smoothly works perfectly have not seen a single problem yet so here's Kill Background, it's a really neat one, very small, absolutely free. It adds a little skull to the bottom left or right of your multitasking bar, and when you click it, it erases all of the apps at once. It's a very neat little thing. I mean, I don't even know why Apple didn't implement it in iOS themselves. In the settings, you can basically move it from left to right and adjust some other settings. Really cool tweak, I recommend you do get this. Here's another free one called Swipe Selection. It basically allows you to easily edit, move your cursor, and select text using your keypad just by swiping like this. Now, Apple's method for doing this is a lot harder. It's not as accurate, and I found this one very natural, and it's very easy to use. Now, basically, just slide your finger across two fingers for faster selection, and you can hold the Shift button and slide to select text just like that. Very easy to do. I found that text editing is much faster using this little tweak. This next tweak has been updated for iOS 6 and the iPhone 5. I have mentioned it before. It's called Camera Tweak. It allows you to get higher customization of your camera application. You can set a timer. You can do a time lapse for whatever preset time you want. And there is also an advanced focus, which looks just like this. Very neat little feature. Now, if you go over to video, which is my favorite part of this tweak, you now have customization over the video options, which is really neat. You can select the frame rate. You can even go down to 24 and have it more of a film look. There is also the advanced focus like we saw in the camera as well. And you can select your resolution just by doing that right there. And you can add a four to three aspect ratio. You can add different ones as well, like 69 just by scrolling. You can lock the white balance. Just a bunch of useful little things if you're ever going to be using your camera. This is a very handy one. I would recommend it. Here's OXO. At least I think that's how you pronounce it. A-U-X-O. Some people do say this was the way multitasking was meant to be on the iPhone. It's very intuitive. A very beautiful little tweak that's basically a replacement for the stock multitasking on iOS. And it works great with kill background. You can kill all of the icons. It looks a lot like Palm Pre's multitasking. Now there is also this utility where you can disable or enable a lot of the features on the iPhone, which is very neat. You can also respring like I just did there on accident. And there is also a brightness bar, which is also very neat and useful to have it right there. All in all, this is $1.99 and I do think it's worth it. I did purchase it and I will keep it on my iPhone 5 as I find it very useful. Now here's Dashboard X. It's a widget application for iOS 6. You just hold on the home screen, then hold again after everything starts wiggling. And there's three to choose from right now, stocks, weather, and a social media widget. So far it works very well. It's basically a replacement for the people that have their weather application not working right now. It works very well, as well as a stocks application. There is also an add-on called NC Settings, which is free. You do have to purchase, of course, Dashboard X, but when you do download it, you get a widget very much like OXO that you put on your home screen, which you can toggle just a few things from. Very useful, very handy, just a little tiny tweak on top of Dashboard X. Here's another great free one called Hook's Law. There is a percentage sign before it. It adds a nice little springy animation when you open an application, when you close it, when you go to a subfolder, and you can control how springy it is, how fast it opens. Basically all of these settings right here, velocity is the one that seems to affect it the most for me when it comes to speed. So you can mess around with that. Very cool little thing, just a small little free one. For number 10, this is Zeppelin. It allows you to change your carrier logo to any of these presets, which is pretty neat to have a little Android up there or Apple logo or the Assassin's Creed logo. It's absolutely free in the Cydia store, so go ahead and download it. It is really cool and you can easily remove it. And this won't be all of the tweaks, guys. I will have several more videos out soon. I just have to get several other things out of the way, but that's it for now. That makes 10. 
Well, that's 10 amazing tweaks for your newly jailbroken iPhone 5. Of course, subscribe to see many more videos I will be putting out for tweaks, you know, themes, utilities, all that kind of stuff. I plan on posting many of those videos. But in the meantime, enjoy these tweaks, guys. Have a great day. Peace.